Well, welcome to a new video for Wait, don't... You totally forgot. Act one, <laughs> scene one. <laughs> yeah, and I forgot the chalk, so we're still gonna use it though. We've been wanting to use that for literally like a year, but we just like, <laughs> anyway. Welcome to a new video. For those who don't know us, I'm Theodora and this is Graham. We gave up our business, our lives, everything in the UK about 11 months ago now. 11 months ago. And we've we been YouTubing, YouTubing ourselves away around the world. Around the world. Fit us each other's sentences. Sandwiches. Scene one, take two. <laughs> so 11 months ago, we gave up our lives in the UK and we sold everything and we decided we we're gonna become full-time YouTubers traveling around the world. And at that point, we hardly knew what a camera even was. Now we knew what a camera was, but we didn't know that much about how to use it or what we need to have to make travel videos. We get so many comments asking, what camera do you use? I'm going on holiday, what shall I take? What drone? Like, how do you get this footage? Well. Today, we're gonna answer all those questions. So let's do it. Act two, scene two. Usually when you watch a video, this is what we're filming with. With our body, our mic, and the wide angle lens. We have a Sony A6500. I'm gonna share with you why we chose this. We wanted point one, a relatively affordable camera. We weren't ready to go all in because we were still beginners when we started out. Point two, we wanted slow motion. The slow motion is what we live for. Graham loves a good old slow motion. The 120 was a must for us to get those butter smooth slow motion shots. The autofocus is great. Like we barely are ever out of focus. Like you know that yourself from watching our videos. So we are super happy with it. So a lot of people ask when we when they see our videos, like what camera do you use? You capture insane footage. Well, it's not just the body. Really, the magic lies in the lenses. So I'm gonna quickly explain why you need different lenses for different shots. So with our three lenses, I feel like we've got the lens dream team for the ultimate vlogging setup. First of all, we have the vlog lens. This is a 10 to 18, it's a wide angle. So at 10, it will be the widest angle possible so that we both fit in the screen. So when you see both of us in frame, you know we've got this vlog lens on. Okay, this is my favorite lens and I'm gonna show you why it's so magical. This is a standard 30 millimeter lens and the F point is 1.4. Basically, without getting technical, the lower the F point, the more bokeh, also known as blurry background. And that brings for this epic cinematic um, footage, real in depth, real romantic, buttery, smooth. I don't know what other words to use, but just beautiful shots. I'm sure Graham will lay over some shots when I'm talking about this lens. And then we have the perv lens. No, only joking. It's the zoom lens. It looks a bit of a big bad boy, but it really finalizes the dream team of lenses because this one can zoom in. It's 18 to 105, meaning that, that we can almost fit in the frame for vlogging, but then really can zoom in from afar. So if you spot a little girl riding a bike in the street further down, you can use the zoom lens to capture those kind of moments. So all good and well having lenses, but without a sunglass for the lenses, you know where. We're gonna insert a little clip from our Thailand vlog where we went out with the lens without sunglasses for the lens and this is what you get and what you'll probably see now is probably too bright but you have a quick look see if it's okay. too bright okay we can barely see and now we're going to put the nd filter on of which you need to clean all the time because it gets dusty sandy and all the rest of it how's that looking yeah better good ah uh, that's much better see and now you can see me Sick. but we have to, to clean these lenses we use these little sticks which has a little brush and kind of like a little felt kind of weird thing that just picks up any dust. The camera strap. I know what you're thinking, Theodora, I don't care for the strap. Well, trust me, I didn't think this either. But now I'm a complete camera geek. This is a must and I've got to share it with you. The main thing of why Graham uses this strap is that he will get these steady pan shots, in and out, side to side shots with just the strap. If you invest in a decent strap, you can get these shots handheld without a gimbal. How do we shoot 
just with the two of us with no one behind us? This is the answer. This is how we take pictures together and this is how we film each other together. So Scene two, take one. Okay, so next up is the action cam, which is the GoPro 7. Now we bought this about three months ago and it has been a lifesaver. We've actually filmed, I think, two or three videos only on the GoPro. This is a workhorse. I would buy the GoPro 7 and basically you can make a travel video with just this camera. It's totally waterproof. Uh, you're allowed to dive down to 10 meters. The in-camera stabilization. When you put it onto time warp mode, it is awesome. Now we've put this on the front of Tuk Tuk, on the, on the front of a motorbike, and we've been down loads of bumpy roads. And the quality always amazes me when we put it back onto the computer, it looks so smooth and silky, like it's running off a woman's body. No, seriously, it's like someone is holding a gimbal with the camera on. So it's just epic and we love it. So I like getting different shots in our videos. And one of the things that I brought recently is this. It's like an egg timer, basically. It goes 360 degrees. And basically to get a really cool shot in different kind of angles, put the GoPro on there and it just ticks around and it goes 360 degrees. And obviously with the time lapse, it makes for an epic new different kind of angle to the video. What's also awesome about the GoPro 7 is not only do you film like this, but you can film like this. And if you're filming like this, you can transfer your footage straight onto Instagram if you want to upload like that and you can put on straight onto your story. So it's really, really quick to transfer footage. So I'm gonna link in the description box down below a really inexpensive accessory pack. And basically I use pretty much everything in there. Things like these where you can connect onto helmets or onto motorbikes. You've got all different kinds of gadgets. Things like this, a floater. If I hadn't had this on a few times, a GoPro wouldn't be here today, I can tell you that. Things like head straps and body straps. So I always carry three GoPro batteries on me. One's pretty much always in the camera, and then two other batteries. And this is the charging station. USB, really small, really lightweight. It's really good for traveling with. By the way, they're not the authentic GoPro batteries. I've only got one of them, but these are just as good and they're like half the price. Scene three, take one. Okay, our third most important part of our equipment is is the DJI Mavic Air. The best thing about this drone is the size. So this drone fits in your hand, literally. This is, this is obviously the case. So when you take it out of the case, you can see that it fits literally in the palm of your hand. And all you need to do is flick out the legs, like so. It's got two little feet on the front. Here's the mod controller. You have the antennas. You then take out the joysticks, which are hidden inside the controller. You then connect your phone in between here, connect it up to the camera, and you are good to go. So I always carry around a spare set of propellers. Now, I obviously never ever crash the drone. I'm too much of a good pilot for that. But if you do happen so to crash the drone, the drone should be okay, but maybe the propellers are broken. So when you've got this bad boy connected, it's so easy to fly, you turn it on, you get up in the air, it's so, so stable. Even Theodora gets to fly it sometimes when I allow it. So if you've never flown a drone before, but you wanna try it out, it, trust me, it's so easy to do, and you'll get some epic shots which you can put into your travel videos. Little secret guys, if you are filming or flying in a really sunny area, get yourself some filters. They basically screw onto the front of the camera and they cut out all of that crazy light that's gonna be coming in, especially if you're going towards the sun. These are a must if you're in sunny countries for definite. Okay, last but not least is the gimbal, Zion Crane. And basically the camera fits on top of here and you get beautiful smooth shots when people are moving down the street or you walk in or when you want to vlog and you're talking for a long time instead of having a, like a wavy stick. Um, so that is an awesome piece of equipment that we use all the time. So obviously we need to carry this equipment all around with us all the time. Introducing this bag. So there's two entry points to this bag. First is obviously taking the lap and opening it from the front. And if you want to access, which I don't do very often to be fair because I don't like the bag getting today. You can just open this and pick out your stuff. I have a couple of these. Lenses in here, and basically they're called little grab bags. So we put this inside. This bag will have like spare batteries, uh, leads and cables and extra uh, power supplies. And obviously we've got the gimbal. That just fits in there. As you can see in the bag, 
It's a fair amount of room. Obviously, we do have extra things like like the drone case, which just fits in there as well. So we've got three pouches and the stick for the camera. That's pretty much my camera bag. When I come in, I can get my stick. I can pull out my cases. And so far for us in the last year, it's perfect. Also, it has side straps, so I can strap Roger onto the side. But the most epic thing about this bag, it comes with a waterproof case. And we have been caught many a time, and I absolutely love this. Put that over the top. It's waterproof, epic. And we're good to go. Okay, this is not a standard kind of video, so hopefully it's been uh, informative and not too boring. Many of you asked for this video, so we of course provide it. Please subscribe. We're almost at a year of YouTubing, and if we can get to 100K within a year, that's pretty cool. That's, I wouldn't even But it's all thanks to you guys, yeah. especially the people that come back every time, that comment and like. We always try and get back to you guys, and we really appreciate it the love and support. See you next time. Before we purchase the Mavic Air. Okay. Scene three, take a million. Guys, do not film a video on a Sunday morning. It's just not a good idea. That's what brings the cinema, 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 cinematography. Cinematic. Cinematicness. This is what brings the cinematicness to our vlogs.